Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp channel. I'm your host Mohammad Azam with another screencast and this is also about tile maps. Uh, I have already done I think two screencasts regarding the tile maps and if you haven't watched that I would highly recommend that you do so. So let's actually run the program to see what's going on. A little bit of change that I made and this particular screencast it will show you how to add a car to your tile map game and how to add a collision detection. Okay. So let's actually stop this and go to the tile map. Now this thing, this part over here, which is kind of like a, a greenish thing, color, you know, this is our road and we want the car to run on the road and not on the grass and on going off the trees and everything, right? So I've added this uh, meta layer, which is a, ah, let me actually close my Twitter account. So I've added this uh, meta and this is a tile set. It contains two images. Uh, you can see a red and a green. We'll just say that the red is the one that is the car cannot really go on and the green is the one that that the car can actually go. Okay, and let's see the tile properties. Collateral false. Okay, so what I have done instead of painting different uh, areas of the tile map of where the car cannot go I painted the area where the car can go okay and which will be the road and this is the road it's going on and on starting from here okay so this is the the road on which the car actually runs so I painted this with this tile map and this is a opacity so you can actually see you know what's going on actually behind it but uh, what I did I just painted it oh wait okay I think I painted it with this one <laughs> so um, you can paint the whole thing okay and let me I don't know why the color is different but anyway and you give it this a uh, property like a tile property collidable falls okay because you cannot really collide with the road this is the place where you will your car will actually run okay so you give it this a property collidable falls which means that uh, the car can run on the road okay save it and then import it on in the in the project which is this one okay and you can see these properties are actually exported also collidable falls so now we need to do a couple of things we need to add the car and the car is our CC sprite so I'm just gonna say self dot car CC sprite and sprite with a file and I think the car is called car dot PNG you can put the car anywhere you like okay the car dot position equal to CCP um, we'll just say screen size dot width divided by 2 and screen size dot height divided by 2 kind of like a center of the screen most probably you don't want to put the car in the center of the screen okay and uh, since we have exposed the car property car as a property and then add child and then we'll just say self dot car okay let's run this and see what do we have so we have our car and it does give you kind of that illusion that the car is moving but you know that the car is not really moving it's a background that is just moving downwards right um, let's do one more thing So we have the car, okay, and you can even hide the meta layer, which we'll do it uh, in the end. If you go to the header file, I have already exposed the meta layer in the form of the CC TMX layer. And I think at this point we can request that layer. It's meta equal to um, what is that? Self dot map, and then. Mm, that's kind of weird. Uh, I thought it was layered by name. It was oh, 
so there's no map there's tile map tile map and then layer name and then you can pretty much get the layer that you want and we were calling it a meta layer so just gonna get that layer okay we also need to move the car okay so let's actually see over here if we go to the CC touches begin event then we can uh, simply move the car so let's say self dot car dot position equal to location so wherever you touch the card it will be moved let's run this and that doesn't feel right so we can have the action doing the job for us we can say uh, self dot car run action and then cc move to and then action with duration let's say it's going to take 0 0.6 seconds and the location that it's going to move to will be mostly the x coordinates are changing so i'm just going to say location dot x and the y will be the same so self dot car dot um position dot y okay let's run run it now So you can see that the card is now moving in a left or right position, but I can actually go over, uh, you know, over the trees and everything, which is not right. For that, what you need to do is you need to find out where you have, that whether you can move to the position or not. Okay. Um, let me see if I have already have the method that is added. Okay, I'd have that. Um, where it is. Here we go. Okay. There we go. So inside the CC touches begin event, what we're going to do is we're going to write some code. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the code because it's a little bit lot of code, okay? So I'm just going to copy it. Hope you don't mind. All right, um, so here's a little bit of code. All right, so tile coordinate for position. Now, this is a custom method. You pass in the location for the uh, Cocos coordinate and it will give you the tile coordinates because the tile coordinates are different than the Cocos coordinates, okay? And then you get the ID, you pass in the coordinates, you get the ID of the tile GUID. Each tile is represented by a GUID. And then you get the properties. And if, the, if the, you find a property collidable and if that particular property collidable has a value false then you say okay let's not screen increase the speed okay you can go you can move on okay so that's the only uh, reason that you will move that if a person clicks on a you know so oops it's actually still moving hmm. let's see Kind of weird. Collidable meta toilet ID. Hmm. Wonder if I have to add anything else over here. C self dot Y. Hmm. Well. Kind of weird. Yeah, it looks okay to me. I don't know why it's moving. It has to go over here. It has to get that location, tile coordinates. Uh, let's run it again. Okay, now we have a, we have a booster also. But anyway, uh, right now it's actually speeding up because whenever I click it, it kind of speeds up. But you can see, if I click over here, it cannot really go. If I click over here, it cannot go, but it will only go if I click on the road. Okay? And yeah, this is like a booster thing going on. Okay? That's pretty simple to actually implement. 
uh, how did I get the tile maps to be uh, to be hidden over here because you cannot see the meta tags over here pretty simple you can just go to your init where it is and this is a Camtasia is running tremendously slow and you can self dot meta or visible to no so that the meta tags or the meta layer will not be visible so that's pretty much it so in this particular screencast you learn how to add a car to your tile map game and how to restrict the object or the car to move in the particular positions particular location and not the other locations hope you like it thank you very much stay tuned for more